Following successful strikes by the Ukrainian armed forces on Russian military facilities in occupied Crimea, the invaders are moving some forces and assets deep into the peninsula. In this way, the enemy is preparing for Ukraine to gain an advantage in the air, military expert, reserve colonel of the Ukrainian armed forces and pilot instructor Roman Svitan told Channel 24. According to him, Crimea is a geographical operational cauldron and it is impossible to hold it against the troops advancing from the mainland. It is only a matter of time before the occupiers are defeated and destroyed. The only global way out for the Russians is to leave Crimea, as the Black Sea Fleet has already done. It is the Black Sea Fleet's exit from Crimea that is the harbinger of the actions that will happen to the Russian army and Russian citizens who are now in Crimea. Zvitan is convinced. According to him, first the Russian Air Force will leave the peninsula, then the air defense, ground troops and civilian occupiers. He is convinced that the second wave of withdrawal is currently taking place, which includes the air defense. This is not a strengthening of the Kirsch direction. They are simply trying to escape the blow. They are practically liberating the territory, realizing that all the locators on the western coast will be destroyed, the expert explained. He added that this would open up the invaders' military facilities, which the Ukrainian defense forces could then operate on. According to Svitan, these waves of withdrawal would last from several months to a year. He also commented on the explosions in Kursk. There, the Ukrainians attacked an airfield that the Russians used as a tactical one. In particular, air defense systems and anti-aircraft missile systems were deployed there. Probably after the reconnaissance activities, a decision was made to launch a missile strike because it is better to cover the airfield with missiles. We have our own missiles, the same Neptunes with a range of up to 300 kilometers. This is also the range of the Olka, added the retired colonel. Recently, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Sirsky, stated that it is entirely possible to return Crimea occupied by Russia. Of course, this is a big military secret. We will do everything possible to reach the internationally recognized borders of 1991. We must win to free our citizens who are in the occupied territories who are suffering. The attack on the Olenya airfield, which Ukraine carried out, became a record for Ukrainian drones in terms of the distance of damage. Ukrainian military expert Ivan Kairaychevsky reported this on Espresso. So far, we do not know much about the results of our drones' attack on the Olenya airfield. However, what is interesting is that Ukrainian drones have not yet flown to a distance of 1,800 kilometers. Even if you calculate the distance from the state border very primitively, this is a record for the defense forces, said Kairaychevsky. In his opinion, the results of the attack on the Olenya airfield could be more devastating for the Russians. The results of such attacks on military targets on the territory of the Russian Federation are difficult to detect immediately. However, over time, the Russians themselves discover the details. In particular, when the armed forces hit Engels, and Diaghilev airfields, there was information that one Tu-95 and Tu-22M3 were damaged. And half a year later, the Russians opened a case about these strikes where they claimed that eight bombers had been damaged. I think later we will learn more about the attack on the Olenya airfield. But the very fact that we have a long-range drone that has a striking distance like a Tomahawk missile. This kind of Tomahawk with wings and the Russians are very upset about this, he added. Recall, Ukrainian drones struck Russia's Olenya airfield in the far north of the country. The drones targeted a Tupolev Tu-22M3 supersonic long-range missile carrier at the Strategic Aviation Base. Located in the Arctic on the Kola Peninsula, the Olenya Air Base is more than 1,900 kilometers north of Ukraine, but a mere 200 kilometers from the Finnish border. In response to the drone strikes, Finnish President Alexander Stubb said, We have no cause for concern in Finland. We have the situation under control and are able to respond. Olenya airfield has been used by Russian forces to attack civilian infrastructure in Ukraine with cruise missiles. It was Tu-95MS bombers from Olenya that less than a month ago bombed the Children's Hospital in Kyiv, according to reports. 